I am Elizabeth Ozamara from NR13 and I will demonstrate on how to assess apical pulse. In assessing apical pulse, first you need to assess the patient. You need to consider the following. First is the clinical signs of cardiovascular alterations, which are extreme fatigue, constant dizziness or lightheadedness, a fast heartbeat more than 100 beats per minute, a new irregular heartbeat, chest pain, difficulty breathing, respiratory infection, restlessness or confusion, changes in sleep patterns, loss of appetite or nausea, and next, the factors that might alter pulse rate are the emotions, body temperature, dehydration, diminishing glycogen stores, insufficient nutrition, insufficient sleep, and recent illness and medication. And next, you need to assemble the equipment needed. The equipment needed are the stethoscope and a second, a second hand watch indicator. And then, you need to identify yourself and verify the client's identity. Explain to the client what you are going to do, why is it necessary, and how the client can cooperate. So, this is my patient. So, sir, hello po. I am your nurse for today, Elizabeth Ozamora. May I know your name, sir? I am Lorenzo Batipola. Your birthday, sir? December 7, 1960. Then after that, after verifying the client's identity, you need to perform hand hygiene. So I'm using uh, ethyl alcohol 70%. Performing hand hygiene, you also need to observe the other proper infection control procedures. And next, provide for client's privacy and then position the client appropriately. Let's move, sir. Position the client in a comfortable supine position or sitting position. So I just choose sitting position to assess his apical pulse. Expose the area of the chest over the apex of the heart. So we will just expose the left side of the patient. Next, we need to locate the apical pulse. Palpate the angle of Lewis just below the suprasternal notch, which is felt as a prominence. This is the suprasternal notch of this patient. And just below the suprasternal, suprasternal notch, we can find the angle of Lewis. This is the angle of Lewis. We can feel a hump here, and this can be the angle of Lewis. And then, slide your index finger just to the left of the client's sternum and palpate the second intercostal space. Just slide the index finger and we can see that this is the intercostal space. And next, and place your middle or next finger in the third intercostal space and continue palpating downward until you locate the fifth intercostal space. So this is the second intercostal space third intercostal space, fourth intercostal space, and the, this is the fifth intercostal space. Move your index finger laterally along the fifth intercostal space towards MCL. Normally, the apical pulse is palpable at or just medial the MCL. This is the fifth intercostal space. When you already found the fifth intercostal space, now, you can auscultate and count heartbeats. We will use a stethoscope. Use antiseptic wipes or any or alcohol with tissue to clean the earpieces and diaphragm of the stethoscope. So this is the earpiece and this is the diaphragm of the stethoscope. 
Warm the diaphragm of the stethoscope by holding it in the palm of your hand for a moment. Insert the ear pieces of the stethoscope into your ears in the direction of the ear canals or slightly forward to facilitate hearing. Tap your finger lightly on the diaphragm to be sure it is the active side of the head. Place the diaphragm of the stethoscope over the apical pulse and listen for the normal sound 1 and sound 2 heart sounds. So this is the fifth intercostal space where is the apical, uh, apical pulse is located. If you have difficulty hearing the apical pulse, ask the supine client to roll onto his or her left side of the sitting client to lean slightly forward. But I can already hear the pulse of the patient. Count the beats for 60 seconds using your watch. Assess the rhythm and the strength of the heartbeat. Assess the rhythm of the heartbeat by noting the pattern of interval between beats. Assess the strength or the volume of the heartbeat. And then document all the information that you have gathered in assessing the apical pulse. I hope you have learned something from my videos. Thank you for watching. Bye!